Hi, it's Gabrielle with another guitar tutorial and this one is for Taylor Swift fans. It's her new song, Me, featuring Brendan Yuri from Panic at the Disco. It's a fun, fun song. So I've given you two versions, one with capo and one without. The one without capo is C, A minor, F and G. They're four chords that repeat all the way through the song. And the one with the capo is G, E minor, C and D. Everything you do in the right hand, all the strumming patterns is all the same regardless of which option you choose, capo or no capo. So we have C. Our next chord is A minor, so you just lift up the third, third finger, place it under the second finger in the second fret, strumming from the A string down. Then you have an F. Now with F you need to bar the first two strings in the first fret, strumming from the D string down. And if you want to do a bar chord you place fingers across the whole six strings and then form the E shape. And that just gives you more of a bass sound. And then the fourth chord is G. Okay, so you have C, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, F, or the bar chord, three, four, and G, two, three, four. So for the capo five version, our first chord is G, our next chord is E minor, so that strings five and four in the second fret, and then we have a C, and D. And our four chords, G, E minor, C, and D. So they're the four chords in the capo 5 version. I'm going to turn my hand slightly so that this part of my hand here, down the side there, is going to, is going to mute the strings. So I want to make sure my hand is in a position where I can also strum. So I'm going to talk to you about the different strum patterns of this song. The first one is a verse strum pattern with your strings muted. It goes mute, mute, down, down, up, mute, mute, down, down, up, mute, mute. And so you want things to be nice and well contained within this, this area here between the six strings. So you really don't need to go down very far. One, two, three, and mute, mute. So the next section we're going to do is the pre-chorus and this is really simple. These are just dead slaps. So it's with this part of your hand here. So So that's the pre-chorus. Then we come to the strumming of the chorus. Down, 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 up, down, up. So now I'm going to put the chords plus the strumming for the chorus together after a count of four. One, two, three, four. So the next part is the bridge and the strum pattern you will, you will actually play C all the way through and it is muted, heavily muted, but I want some of the, some of the C chord to come through. So, so you're kind of strumming and muting at the same time.
basically what I'm doing is I'm strumming, but I'm also holding down the strings with this finger here. But I'm letting it come up every now and then so it can hear the C chord. When, I'm, when I go to fret it, there are um hey kids spelling is fun so there goes go there ain't no i in t but you know there is a me strike the band up one two three i promise that you'll never find another like me go there Everything you do in the right hand, all the strumming patterns and the dead slaps and all that kind of thing is all the same regardless of which option you choose, capo or no capo. So it just depends on the sound that you'd like to get and the chords that you are up to playing. Another alternative is to play with some friends and have some of them play the C version and someone play the capo 5 version and play that together and see how, how that sounds. Enjoy this great song, it's very rhythmic. It's a great song for percussive sounds on your guitar because it's got such a great drum beat. All right, have some fun.